Thanks for staying with us. We begin by telling you that President David Granger took charge of the situation last evening after the massive fire at the Georgetown prison and called two national security meetings. Following the second meeting earlier today, Minister of Public Security Kemraj Ramjatan and Commissioner of Police Silal Pasad explained what is being done to ensure the safety and security of all. Minister of Public Security Kemraj Ramjatan gave InfoHub an update following the latest national security meeting at Camp Hainangana. The main focus was to better accommodate and redistribute the close to 1,000 prisoners transferred to the Luzignan prison last evening. We have made some decisions as to how many and who will go to Mazaruni, how many will go to New Amsterdam and Temeri. And we are also in the process of getting magistrates to be at Luzignan for purposes of ensuring that those minor offenses and those who were on bail but couldn't afford it make the arrangements for the granting of bail on their own recognizance so that we can shift some of them back to their homes. The arrangements are being placed as we now speak. Six magistrates from six different magisterial districts working in that. Uh, those districts in and around Georgetown and East Coast and East Bank so that we can ensure that that will be a further reduction. The Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Minister Ramjitan says, is on board to help clear the debris at the Georgetown prison site. It might take a couple of days because of the fact that the embers are still burning on the debris. Um, uh, and so that will take some days. But we understand that there are other, op um, other th things that they will have to do there too because to get an excavator into that for removal of debris might require some infrastructural works to the walls there. But whatever it is, we are doing as best as possible. The minister also thanked the business community and the general public for the assistance offered during the events at the Georgetown prisons yesterday. He emphasizes that the situation is under control. So many citizens and businessmen came to our assistance, providing the transportation to take them there and all the joint services, police, army, um, and so many, the, the, the fire department came to our assistance to ensure uh, that stability was maintained throughout. Um, and we are very happy about that. There were lots of businessmen too that came forward with their lighting systems. I must congratulate my other ministers. Their ministries that had lighting systems, they came to put around the Luziknan area to brighten that up. Um, and so many other things. The actual workers at the prison came out and worked very late into the morning to get the, 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 the amount of people who, are to, who they know are at the Luziknan and to check them off and things like that. Commissioner of Police Silal Posad provided InfoHub with an update on the prison escapees. There are five that are still at large. Four of that five we confirm identity and we are yet to confirm the identity of the fifth person. Any leads as to where they may be? Um, we had um, information that has been partially confirmed of one of them, one site in, in um, Georgetown. The manhunt continues and members of the public are urged to take precautions for their safety and report any suspicious activity. Paul McAdam for InfoHub.